custom themes in fl studio 21 are here and they're fire let's go through how to get them how to get fl studio 21 and how to create a custom theme from scratch you get me first off if you go to this link right here i'll drop it down in the description you can get fl studio 21 release candidate number one today is the 21st of november this came out a few days ago for FL Studio and Mac on the 18th and the 17th with a bunch of new updates. This is an actual release now. Now they are actually calling it FL Studio 21.0. Not official official, but we're getting there. We're getting really close. I'm hearing that they might drop some sort of hardware with it. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. Maybe Black Friday, maybe Cyber Monday. Don't know, but... We're getting closer you still have to go to the forum in order to download it it's not on the actual site yet so that's why it's not really official but i was told by somebody at image line which emailed me and notified me of this that this is a more late stage beta as you can see here these are the new features that they added in this new updated beta so once you download that install it you type your license in they're going to ask you like for your license this time so make sure you have it so that way you can have the full version it's a lot less buggy than all the rest of the other ones i haven't really found too many bugs yet but i did just get it a couple days ago so don't delete your fl studio 20 that you already have just install this alongside of it that way if you do have any bugs you won't have an issue like i said we're going to be talking about themes in this video if you go to options it's actually in our drop down menu now inside options we have theme settings you just click on theme settings and you can see any custom themes that you make are going to pop up here and now we have a few templates that they made for us we have the dark orange you would think that something that this big and this extravagant would have some sort of lag time no lag time the second you click on it the second it changes the plugins don't change just the outsides of the plugins so if you go to any stock fl studio plugin like you know edison the insides of those plugins they don't change they stay the same the only thing that changes is like the outside borders and that's pretty much it right if we hit play you could see the faders and the sound waves and everything are the color of the theme as well. That's fire though. And if you wanted to add, remove, or anything like that, if you wanted to say delete one of these themes, if you made one and you just didn't like it, you just click on that little circle button right there now let's go to the dark mode a little bit less clear in the piano roll you can see where that might get a little bit confusing as to knowing like where you put certain notes and everything like that that's a little bit not so great compared to the last one the dark orange but everything here looks pretty good if you hit play we can see it looks pretty much similar to the original default settings as far as these fader colors go it looks pretty good though a little bit different in the piano roll for dark mode, the notes pretty much look the same as the original default setting. So let's hop into the next theme, Light Cherry. I don't know if I can produce in this. I'm not really sure how I'd feel about this. It looks really dope right now, but I don't know if I'm like in the depths of it. If I start like making a beat, <laughs> I guess I'll have to see. Yeah, see that right there for me would be a no-go. Yeah, man, the channel rack, the channel rack's got to be on point. Let's see how the piano roll looks. Looks all right. See that looks good. I could deal with that, but the channel rack that's a no go. It already looks like things are filled up in the channel rack right here. I would have to either like customize those settings if I go back to this panel right here. And if I like this one, I think I can just adjust these settings inside the piano roll for this. I love the color scheme on this one, but again, channel rack that's a deal breaker for me. Next one, light fruit, no go for the channel rack. Looks dope though. It's like a FL Studio theme color scheme. It looks really good. Playlist looks about the same. If we go into the piano roll, I like that. Mixer looks fire. That looks good. The only thing I don't like is the channel rack. So far, that seems to be a theme for me, is not liking the channel rack. Let's go back to the themes here. Let's go to Citrus. That looks way different. This is more up my alley right here. This looks fire. Fire. Let's see what we got here. Let's uh throw like a hi-hat pattern. I don't like that. Why are those, why are those like light gray? I like everything else though. And that's where the custom is going to come in. I want to combine features of this one with one of the dark ones that I had earlier. Let's go back into themes. I mean, this one looks crazy. This might be the one. I like it. Channel rack test. And it's hard to see like which notes are playing too. But this one definitely, I feel like out of the dark ones, this one looks the best. As far as the custom ones that they give us as templates, I'm gonna lean towards the dark. 
or the dark orange. I think the one that looks the best as far as everything else except for the channel rack is the ultra green. Well, let's get into the customization of things. Let's make our own theme. All right, so now we're on default. Let's go to the hue. I'm gonna leave uh, the text. I'm gonna bump up just a little bit. It makes the text like a little bit more bold. Contrast, brightness, I'll leave those for now. Selection, I wanna go with this like slate blue vibe right here. When you like select something in the channel rack, the color changes to that. The faders are that dark purple. Let's kind of run with this. Let's see what happens if we make everything like this. This guy right here, go to that, hit accept. The meters, let's just do it all with this crazy blue. That's kind of fire. What I like about it is that it gives you suggestions that are pretty close to the color scheme that you already chose. This is super in depth with just very basic features and very basic dials. You could turn this whole thing into light mode. Wow, so we could do what we just did, hit the light mode option, and then, wow, okay, let's save this preset. Yeah, theme me, save. Now we have a theme here. I wonder now if we go back to the one of these ones that we liked, but we didn't like certain features about it, if we chose light mode. See, that's the kind of vibe I like. It's still a little bit maybe too bright, but it's way better, way easier on the eyes, and I can see and make my way around that channel rack way better. All right, so that's gonna do it. Like I said, hit the link down in the description if you wanna try this release candidate number one from FL Studio. It's amazing. It's awesome. There's a bunch of new features. I can dive into even more features if you guys want. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.